Hi guys, Tom Hendrick here from Wee Wee Blogs. Nelly Festival Running continues this weekend with Heat 2 on the February the 11th from Linkoping, and I am delighted to be joined by Mel Fest legend herself, three times Melody Festival Running finalist, the one, the only, Victoria. Shall we talk to her? Let's do this. Melody Festival and continues this weekend with Heat 2 on the 11th of February and I am delighted and honoured to be joined by a three-time Melody Festival and finalist, the one, the only, Victoria. Thank you very, Aww. very much for joining me today, Victoria. No, it's just fun. Thanks for having me. No problem, no problem. Now, it's your fourth time. Yeah. The festival and how are you feeling going into this weekend it must be must be easy for you now right <laughs> <laughs> no the opposite it feels it feels so strange to be honest um truly like I'm so so excited it feels so good to be back I love this song which makes me like super excited to just do this but at the same time it's it's weird to be back for a fourth time and I feel like a lot of pressure, uh, not only that I put on myself, but also like from from the outside. And um, I know that people don't mean to, but no, I, I feel it, you know, since it's been, yeah, you, like you said, three times finalist. I've, when I've been gone, going straight to the final uh, every time that I've been in this competition. So it feels weird to be back in a way because I'm like, I don't want to have too much pressure on me. Yeah. Um, and be like, it's okay if it won't go well, or like if people don't like the song, you never know in this competition. So I don't want to be like, yeah, this is going to be great. You know, <laughs> you never know how it's going to be. Uh, all I know is that I absolutely love the song. Um, I'm so happy to be back and I'm only back because I love this song. I wanted this song to compete and that's why I'm here. So that's what I'm excited about, you know? So I, I'm just happy to be here, you know? Absolutely. So let's, let's talk about the song. Let's mm -hmm. talk about the song, All of Me. Brackets, where have you been? Um, so what is it like compared to your previous work at Melody Festival? And is, 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 so tell me about it. So we haven't heard the snippets yet. The snippets haven't yeah. came out yet, so I haven't heard it. So tell me all about it. Uh, it's an upbeat song, up tempo. Yeah. Um, it's just a very happy song. I wrote it with uh, Melanie Viabe, who's also competing in Heat Three, uh, and also won as a songwriter with the Mamas. Yeah. So she's awesome. Uh, it's her, Herman Gadave, and Patrick Sean. Um, they're great songwriters, great people, and we had so much fun writing this song. It's about my love for my boyfriend and like how how in love I am with him, which is like so crazy when you write a song and you're just like, I want to write this because I feel this, you know, you're like so happily in love. And then I'm like, wait, everyone's going to hear this. <laughs> and it's just crazy. But um, I love the song. It's just very happy. And um, all I want to do is dance when I hear it. And I will be dancing on Saturday. So that's oh. also a lot of fun because I haven't done that uh, earlier when I've been competing. So it's me. I have uh, four dancers with me on stage and it's just going to be a lot of like happiness and uh, dance and just fun. Okay, so you've given us a little bit of a, a snippet into what's going on the stage. Well, well, what else? What else can you give me? So there's four dancers. You're you're going to be there dancing yeah. for the first time on on the Melfest stage. So yes. have you done any dance training before or or? No, but like, I love dancing. I've been dancing like my whole life, uh, and uh, earlier like earlier years when I've been going on tour after Melfest, I've I've always danced. I've had dancers with me and I think it's so much fun doing it on tour. It just hasn't happened in Melody Festivaling yet. And this year with this song, I was like, I have to. I have to dance in this song. Um so it's just gonna be a lot of like a lot of stuff around the number is about the dance, which I love. It's a lot of focus on on me and the dancers. And it's just like me and my girls, you know, I wanted yeah. that to be the feeling on stage. I didn't want it to be like the artists and then dancers and just like, because I wanted 
a feeling of like, here's just me and my friends having fun on stage. So, um, and Keisha, who uh, choreographed choreographed uh, the number, uh, she's amazing. So she um, she just did it really well and just the vision that I saw. So it just feels really good. And it's going to be so much fun to do it on stage. And then you, you can see, you will see later this week, you will see like, what's going on on stage more than that mm -hmm. i won't say now but it's going to be a lot of fun and um yeah i'm just so excited that, that's brilliant so we, we're seeing a vulnerable uh, obviously it's a more of an upbeat song but still it's a vulnerable song in in many ways <laughs> because it's a song about your boyfriend and obviously um in your previous entry entry not uh not with me that's that was vulnerable on a, on a different different scale so we're going to be yeah. seeing lots of different sides of victoria yeah but i i just love being myself you know on stage i love sharing my story and myself because i feel like then it's just super genuine this song is a hundred percent me it's not only just me with like the melodies and all of that because that's very much me mm -hmm. but it's also with the lyrics and how it how it is about my life and you know when we wrote the song i love writing with people that just like what do you want to write about and i'm just like this is how i feel and then we just come up with something and it, it was just so easy when we wrote the song it literally was like the easiest song i think i've ever written because we just looked at each other and bounced off each other with all the melodies the lyrics it just felt so natural and if I had an idea, someone was like, yeah, and then maybe do this. And then if someone did, yeah, but he would switch it up to this. And everyone just agreed with each other all the time. Oh, which God. is like, it's so hard, you know, going into the studio because everyone has their own vision and their own feelings and stuff. But this song, it was just so natural. Everyone just had the same vision. They also, like, they really wanted me to have the song the way I wanted, which was like, I appreciated so much because they're also the songwriters they have to love the song too but they really saw my vision and they were like if you want want it this way we'll do it that way mm -hmm. and we all love the song now so it's just it's it's so much fun to do this song I don't think I've ever like felt so good about a song in this competition just because like I love the song it's like so close to my heart um and that feels amazing and so that's why I'm like if it won't go all the way, at least I'm happy with what I'll do, you know? Yes, absolutely. You can you can take with what you've produced. So whatever will be, will be. Yeah. So, I mean, you've been in the industry for quite some time. You're 26, but you've been in the industry for quite some time now. So, yeah. so what have you, what have you learned bringing, bringing, bringing forward now you're 26? So, fourth melody festival and you've been in the industry for what's it, over a decade yeah. you're a teenager <laughs> you know like what have you taken from from the industry and and into your work and not ju not just your music but your work as well um I think like in the beginning you're just so scared of like I think your own opinions because even though I've always had like a really strong gut feeling it's when people around you, especially like older people in this industry, when they're like, no, do it that this way. No, we want it this way. Um, you just go with it because you're like, OK, but I'm so young, so maybe I don't know. Or like or maybe it's just like, but OK, it's just my vision, but they know what's best. They know like, that. you know what? I mean? Yeah. But I feel like now it's much more like, no, but this is how I feel. This is this is what I believe in. And the people around you also listen to you and are like, okay, because they know that I know my vision and they trust me with my vision. And like, um, and that's, that's what I love go growing older in this industry because people have more respect like for you and uh, also like listens to you. So I feel like I'm more calm now in a way, because I don't feel like someone's going to make me do something that I don't want to do. Um, I'm very much like calm in myself and in who I am. Um, and that's also like as me as a person, I think that's why going into Metal Fest this year, also like, I'm just so calm. I'm very nervous, like I'm super nervous, but I'm also very calm. Cause like I've, I've, I've done this a few times. So I know how the week is gonna feel like and what it's gonna be like. Um, and I just know that if I do my best and I'm happy with the song and the number, nothing else matters. 
and I just have to like stick with that, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm just like going in with a calm mind, <laughs> you know? Maybe I won't be calm this week, but I'm going in, <laughs> into it that way. Yes, but the thought is there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, we cannot wait to see your vision come to life on the Melfest stage. Heat 2 is this weekend, February the 11th. Thank you again, Victoria, for joining. Any 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 uh final final thoughts for the Melfest? Any for the Melfest for that... the fans? <laughs> no, but I've been having like I've gotten so much great support from everyone the last couple of years that I've been competing and also outside of the competition people have always been very supportive and uh it's just very nice to see also like you guys and your audience and i it's just very warming so i just hope that you still like it this year and that you love it and that you you're still gonna stick with me after this <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we I'm sure we will. I'm sure that's not gonna be an issue at all. Thank you very, very much. You have Thanks. been wonderful. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you. Thank you.